In this class, we are going to learn how to send a draft message which we have created in our mailbox with the help of Microsoft Graph APIs. In our earlier class, we had made use of this create draft message and we have created a draft message in our mailbox with the help of Microsoft Graph API in which we had added the subject, body, to address and the sample attachment. In this class, we are going to make use of this send draft message graph API and going to send the email so that we can make use of those things for automation purpose. Now, I am here in the Microsoft documentation page for sending draft messages. If you go through this documentation, it says this API is used in order to send any existing draft message. Whatever is there in the draft message like the to, reply to, BCC, everything will be intact and it will just forward the message or send the message. At the end of this operation, it will save the message in the send items folder. From the draft folders, it will delete and save in this folder. Alternatively, we can also make use of this send a new message, which we will learn going ahead in our classes. Now, the main thing over here is the permissions. Just make sure you add this mail.send permission for your application. So, this will be same for application as well as for the delegated permissions. Now, if you scroll down, Microsoft has provided a sample request which we have to make use in order to send any existing draft message with the help of this API. Just make sure the HTTP method for this is post and here is the sample URL which you have to use. There is a path parameter or a template parameter over here which we need to add ID. Now, you will get a question like how we will know what is the ID we need to pass. If we just go back to our previous request that is creating a draft message, in the response when we get this 201 created, we will get the ID. So, we have to copy this from here. This we can do at the runtime as well. The first operation will be creating a draft message in your program and second, you have to make sure you just extract this ID value in your JSON response. Then when you call this send a draft message, you add this in the URL. Now, let me go to this send draft message. I have added the exactly similar URL what Microsoft has shown over here. The ID, whatever I have copied from the previous step, I will add over here. Just I am removing this flower brackets and the ID and pasting the ID. Once done, just make sure you add get the latest token over here with the help of Postman. If you are doing this with the programming language, this you will take care as per the standards for that programming language. Once done, click on this send. We are getting the response as 202 accepted. Let's check this documentation. So, if it is successful, we will get 202 accepted. In the response, we won't get any other thing, only this status we will get. Now, we will go to our Outlook mailbox and verify whether it has sent the message or not. So, as you can see, it has deleted the message from our draft. Let's go to the sent items. If you see over here, it has sent the email. Now, it is under sent items. We had this attachment, we had this body and the to address. So, it has sent the message to our Gmail address. So, like this with the help of sending draft message graph API, we can send any previously created draft message is lying on our mailbox.